Hello, continuing from part one, here's part two of my series on how to speedrun Crota. This will be the bridge. And starting the same way, I'm going to show you my setup. It's should be using all the same stuff, but just go over again just in case you didn't watch that video or it's been a while. You want fusion, obviously increased control, the only thing to use. You want the sunspot build, so those two. Those are pyre, whatever, you know, thermal vent, the good stuff. One thing I didn't show was my Defender subclass build, which is you want ready because you're going to be using Defender later in the run. You need Magnetic, obviously increased control, weapons, Illuminated. I want re Relentless instead of Bastion because your bubble doesn't even last that long and Force Barrier being up longer is actually really good. War Machine, whatever. War Machine actually does matter for your Dragon's Breath. I was going to say it doesn't matter, but it actually does. So yeah, anyways. That's the build you want. Same weapons, as I explained earlier. You want Explosive Round, High Impact Sniper. Basically, that's the only thing you can use now, because they nerf 1k type snipers. Uh, Raised Lighter, and I recommend a uh, Hung Jury or like a Scout Rifle like it. You could use a Mago type hand cannon, but I think with the current the current like way weapons work right now and sniper nerfs and all that, I think hung jury is better overall. Anyway, so on the bridge, and I spawn in this general area. So then, you know, I'm gonna twilight down here. Activate the lane, turn around instantly, twilight back over here. RT this third, pick up the sword. If you want to skate and you want to try to bounce all the bottom of the stairs. Sometimes you get bear bounce and other times. Then you want to jump over here. Sword, twilight, A, sword, 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 twilight, A, sword, sword. Then you don't want to drop the sword like I just did. You won't actually kill this guy. I haven't done this in a while. But anyways, so I'll explain more once I'm done with this, but now you just want to kill all these acolytes. I got here kind of late. Usually if you do it right, you'll get here a little bit earlier, or they're still like kind of coming out of the door. But this port's time lock, so it's not really even that big of a sweat. You have to do it decently fast, but at one at some point you can't speed it up anymore, so. I usually hammer all those guys, turn around and hammer all those guys. If I have one left over, I'll throw it in that area. So anyways, after you kill all the Acolytes, which I already did, you just want to kill more Thrall for a bit. And you know your Thermal Vent never procs on the bridge, so I always try to, but it doesn't do anything. So in a, it takes about a minute, the Ogre spawns in, he already is. I'll probably end up wiping and do this again, so I can explain more stuff as I go. But you want to snipe them three times and switch on Dre and shoot them the rest. And you want to skate over here and... Do a jump, RB, RT, and RT on the ground for that ogre, and it kills them. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe and do this again. Explain stuff, and get a cleaner run. So, back in the days of Double Twilight Garrison, you could go straight across the bridge without using the rocks on the left. And you think that'd be time loss, not being able to do that anymore. But it's really not, because once you're in that general area, it, the game reads you as being on the bridge, even though you're not, but you're technically close enough that it, it sees you on the bridge. So therefore it despawns all these ads and it starts those ads to spawn in. So it's not many time loss not being able to cross right away as long as you get close. And the reason why, well you say, well, yeah, the ads spawn in at the same time, but you don't actually get to the ads to kill them at the same time. Isn't that still time loss? Well, no, because... The, at, the ogre spawn at like a minute exactly once you activate that side of the bridge every single time no matter what. Like there's no speeding that up. All you can do is slow it down. But if you kill enough adds quick enough, it doesn't matter how quick you kill them. The ogres will still spawn at the same time. And I'll try to show that more as I do this. Alright, so wait this. Him. 
forward, jump from like right there, try to get it balanced. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Alright, so this will be a little bit cleaner run, so you can see the acolytes are still kind of coming out to the stand. Alright, so you want to kill all of them first, you want to come over here, pop hammers, so it Sunspot kills the thrall behind you, but then hammer these guys. Throw a hammer over there, throw a hammer in the middle, throw a hammer over there, throw the acolytes. That you can't see because you have fire on the ground. You kill the acolytes. There's still an acolyte alive over there. You know, it's not really that big of a deal because you have like literally all the time in the world. Just want to kill some more as you walk backwards up here. Up, up here. Ogre's already out. Now, in reality, you want to kill him before he goes around that corner. But it's not that big of a deal. It's a few seconds time lost. And you want to do that to the second ogre. And that's it for the bridge. Now while I'm here, I'm just going to go ahead and show you the hallway, because I'm not going to make a segment about the hallway, obviously. This sniper and two shot the shriekers, which is good, obviously. So you shoot the first one, jump up, twilight. Get a little bit more air. Hopefully, make it over that thrall. Sometimes you won't. Aid that one. Shoot it. Jump. Twilight. A. And bam. Done. Anyways, hope you guys could keep up with it while I was actually like doing it. It's kind of hard to explain stuff as I'm doing it. I did two runs just so I could go back and if I missed anything. But just to recap, so. Once you cross the bridge, it reads you on the bridge and that activates the spawns. Then the ogres are time locked. You just have to kill roughly 25 ish adds uh, before the ogres can spawn. That doesn't trigger the ogres to spawn. That means the ogres can spawn once that time runs out. And there's some adds that matter more than others, like acolytes are a must. Uh, Cursed Thrall seem to count more than regular Thrall for some reason. But typically it's roughly 25 total adds, including like the 12 acolytes or how many ever there are. But yeah. Anyways, once you get it down, it's pretty easy to get around a two minute bridge. That's like a good goal. And it's one of the most consistent parts of the entire speedrun once you get it down. Like when I was doing sub eight attempts, I'd do a 156, 157 bridge almost every single time without any, like, without any effort. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, part three of the Death Singer sometime soon. Then the best part, Crota. You know, after part three, Crota's really cool, really hard. But anyways, thanks.